You look good in that Mario outfit. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Lost a little weight since then. <laughs> Start there, Jacoby. What does it mean to have an event like that? Have your teammates come out and support and really make a lot of kids, you know, make their evening. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a great event. Uh, our CRD, CR team did a really good job of putting it all together and, and, and teaming up with Lotus uh, Heroes and and uh, obviously the players coming out and, and supporting it was was awesome. Um, you know, uh, brought a lot of smiles and, and uh, a couple of tears in the in the crowd. But uh, overall, it was a great event. Uh, definitely puts a lot of things in perspective. What was your favorite costume? Oh, it was a lot. Uh, from the players or from the kids? <laughs> Anything you saw. Uh, I don't know. We had a, we had a bunch of good ones. I thought Joel was pretty good. He actually <laughs> brought that with him, so he actually had it in his house for, for a little bit. So that was good. Um, yeah, I thought all the little kids looked cute. So uh, it was a lot of good, a lot of good, good, Are you good Mario costumes. Brothers? No, Are they they right? got it for me, so I just put it on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Magnitude of, of this game and where you guys are heading into it, just from a, a mindset standpoint. Yeah, uh, obviously it's the next game on our the the, the only one we all have promised together is, is this next one. Uh, you know, obviously a, di a divisional opponent, uh, and, and uh, yeah, we need a win. Uh, I think that's the mindset. Uh, we understand that it's not just going to happen. Uh, it's it's going to start today, and it, I, I'm, honestly, it started after the game uh, in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. uh, so all our focus is on, on Cincinnati and, and trying to find a way to get a win. You guys ready for uh, you know, the, the Monday night football factor? And then also, the, you guys should have a pretty good home field advantage. I mean, it is, it is Halloween, and you know how Browns fans. Uh, I mean, honestly, the Monday, Monday night thing doesn't really, it, it's just another football game in this league. So uh, I think that's the mindset that we're taking is, is you know, we got to find a way to block out all the noise and all the, the distractions and, and focus in on this one. How do you build off personally what you did in that Baltimore game? Uh, just continue to do what I've done throughout this year and, and just going back and, and um, sticking to what I know is, is, is right. Um, you know, I thought we did a, I thought we had a good plan for Baltimore. Uh, obviously, it was, was close. Uh, but you don't really win games with being close. So just find a way to make one more play and, and make one more good decision uh, and figuring out how to attack this team. Setting the results aside, and I know those do matter, um, and, and the New England game aside, do you feel like, though, you've, you've played pretty well? Oh, for sure. Uh, definitely thought I, I've uh, played well in, in spots. And, and uh, you know, the obviously the, the results are the, the main objective. Uh, but uh, so, yeah, just, just finding a way to continue to play better and, and, um, and, and putting this team in the best position to win. You know, get, go ahead. David Njoku has, has meant a lot to you, you know, in this first part of the season. If you have to be without him in this game, that's kind of tough, huh? Oh, for sure. Uh, somebody else better mean a lot to me soon, then. <laughs> uh, just based on that question, the fact that you guys rely so heavily on multiple tight ends, and if you're without David and without Farrell, um, how does that change? Does that significantly change what you guys do schematically? Uh, I wouldn't say significantly because we've, Played with one tight end on the field a lot this season. Uh, it just gives other guys to step up, uh, opportunity to step up and and make plays and and and, uh, and I think guys are up for the challenge. Obviously, putting the plan together around those uh, I wouldn't even consider them setbacks, but circumstances, uh, and then the, the finding the ways to put our other guys in uh, the best position possible. I mean, do you read like do your reads change a lot if you guys are more spread out with three wides and more? You know, uh, no, usually it's whoever's open gets the ball, and uh, hopefully that stays true. Rather, wh whoever's out on the field. Jacoby, the last, the last two games, uh, Hunt's uh, targeted three times in the passing game, and his carries are significantly down. What's, what's the reasoning behind Kareem Hunt? Uh, I don't make the decisions like that, so you'll probably have to ask Kevin on that one. Uh, if, he, if he's the third down back and included on the two-minute team, should be getting more action in these Again, that's a that's a question for Kevin. Okay. So I'm sure his interview soon. Jacoby, you've known for a long time how long you would be the starter here, and this is what you signed up for. Is it easy for you to block that out, though, that I may only have four more starts left this season? Uh, definitely. Uh, I never really thought about the, the, the duration of it, more so just the journey of it. Uh, and... Uh, I've had a lot of fun, and, and I'm continuing to have fun, and, and uh, going out there and, and trying to do my best, and 
Uh, yeah, so that's all I've been thinking about. Jacoby, you guys have a lot of talent here, and you've got a lot of really, really good guys in this locker room, too. So I, I guess, like, it just feels like something's missing. Do you know what that is? Like, have you been able to kind of figure out what that uh, is? No, nah, because if I figured out, I would have probably told everybody what it was. Uh, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, this league is so up and down, and, and um, you know, you just got to find your streak, and it's a, it's a league of streaks. And, uh, um, you know, once you, it's like a three point shooter. Once you hit one, hopefully you see it more go down, and, and uh, that gives you the confidence to understand that, uh, uh, you know, that, that they're soft, start falling your way. Uh, so, you know, we just got to hit our streak, and, um, you know, and it's really just finding a way to get one, and then, uh, not necessarily just games, but good play after good play after good play after good play. And then those are hopefully those are piled into a win. Jacoby, you've talked about kind of walking out the four games and taking the journey. I mean, how would you describe this journey to this point? Because it's huh. been a, kind of a whirlwind, yeah. a roller coaster in the NFL. Just how would you describe how? Uh, it's definitely been that. It's been a roller coaster. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been nothing short of fun. Uh, it's been it's been a great time. Uh, obviously, enjoy it every week. I mean, uh, I know my emotions don't show it to you guys, but I actually do enjoy what I do. Uh, and it's just been a lot of fun. Like, I'm it's like a kid, you know. When you, uh, just related to the, um, the idea of the journey and then how you're you know, scheduled to, to change roles here, uh, so to speak, you, you've made an impact as a leader. Can you continue to do that when that switch occurs? Uh, yeah, I think that's what makes me who I am. You know, nothing, my, my circumstances don't change who I am. Uh, uh, that's what, I mean, I, I'm a teammate first. Uh, so uh, I'll continue to be that no matter what the circumstances are uh, and, and figure out something else to do, right? When uh, you said at the beginning that this is the next game is the only one promised to this group, is that a nod at all to the trade deadline coming Oh, up? no, I didn't even think about that. Damn, I should have better choice of words, huh? <laughs> uh, no, I just, I mean, you just think about, I mean, obviously AWOC's one of my best friends, but you're just thinking about, you know, him, and it's just like, Every day, like I tell them, every day I walk into the building, I think about you because, you know, these these aren't promised, you know. And um, the only thing we have is the one right now. And, and um, I think that that's the mindset that I, I like to carry just because, listen, I don't know when the train's going to stop for me. Uh, but hmm. while I'm here, I'm just enjoying it, you know. Hey, Jacoby, um, when you're going through a spell like this, a losing streak, does a team get tight? Is this team tight right now that – What do you mean just, tight? You know, that – one mistake, you're trying so hard not to make a mistake. Uh, that no, I don't think so. Um, I, I just think, uh, you know, we have to find ways to minimize the mistakes. It's not necessarily, like mistakes are going to happen in this league. Like yeah. the other teams get paid too. So they, they have good players too. So uh, we understand that. It's just more so we just got to find a way to make one more play here, uh, one more play there. And then, like I said, like you hopefully you pile up enough good plays to where it equals a win. You guys got an extra day yesterday, so to speak. Five weeks coming up. Is this a good time for you guys to, I guess, maybe recharge the battery a little bit and, and just kind uh, of go through a little bit of a reset? Well, honestly, I mean, we, we got to go to a game, so there's no, we can't recharge right now, you know. So it's, it, I think the, the whole thing is just to empty the tank this week and, and just see what happens, you know. Uh, that's how you always play, but even more so uh, knowing the situation. And, um, been a division game, uh, needing to win. Uh, you know, just empty the tank, and then when it's time to recharge, we recharge. Was it nice to be able to hit, uh, you know, a number of the deeper balls in that last game? And do you think going forward that, you know, will loosen things up for you guys? Uh, I mean, it was nice. Obviously, I, I love completing the ball, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, teams obviously have to respect it. Uh, at spots last week they did it and we took advantage of it and, and uh, you know that's the case every week sometimes teams just respect it because of the the nature of their defense and sometimes they don't which is the nature of Baltimore's defense and um, you know it was good to capitalize on a couple of those and um, you know and, and being able to do it on the fly you know Jacob you get charged when there's when you lose a fumble right you get charged with it um, I'm aware <laughs> right when you go back and watch it like do you feel like that's just bad luck that you're trying to get rid of the ball and the guy hits it, or do you feel like, man, maybe there's something I could have done? Better? I mean, you always think of like, damn, what could I have done differently? Uh, and then some is just like, hey, it's just the process of football, you know? So, yeah. Jacoby, obviously you knew Nick Chubb wasn't a lead back when he came here. 
Is there something that you gained an appreciation about him that you didn't have before? Uh, I just didn't know how how elite he was until I got here. You know, uh, obviously watching him throughout the league and, and seeing him every week on ESPN and stuff like that. But when you come and you see, um, you know, his work ethic and his, his, his attention to detail, and then you actually see him go out in the game, it's, um, the crazy thing is it's no surprise, but it should be because that's not uh, very normal. What about Trey Hendrickson? Is he somebody that you've got, you know, to keep an eye on and be wary of? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, a guy that, that has a hot motor, uh, play a lot of good football in this league. Uh, Definitely somebody that we obviously are paying attention to in this game. When it looked like Judge struggled a little bit Sunday against the Ravens, do you have conversations <coughs> with him when that happens or following that, just uh, you keep his spirits up or whatever? No, uh, no, I didn't think he struggled. I mean, plays happen here and there. Like I said, they get paid too. But uh, it's, it's nothing that I can say to him for, or anybody, you know, really to that matter of if somebody thinks that they don't play well. It's just... <coughs> uh, and you know this league is is guys just got to rise to the occasion the next week you know and it's uh he's played good good this throughout this whole year so uh i don't doubt i don't think there'll be a downfall what was david Njoku doing so well in the first seven games of the season catching the ball <laughs> getting open uh which is his job right and blocking and i think he uh he was really uh on the rise, you know, I mean, I don't think his season's over, uh, just uh, a little hiccup. So, uh, no, he's definitely going to be missed for sure.